Today, we're taking it to the extreme. One wrong move will bite you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that that easy for you? Here. Okay, we open. This is a business. And if something happens here, you break my glass, you're going to have to pay me right now. Yeah, so you better go. All right. Not All if something right. happens. Only if something, if happens, something happens to anyone. So that's it. I said no respect. Good save, good save, good save. Over time, as like I realized like the significance of it and how important it was, and like what Lisa was really trying to do, and what she's still doing. You know, something's, something's never, never changed. changed. <laughs> Shops, there's a lot of shops that are like, oh, like, I want to sell mine cheaper than everyone. And it's like kind of screwing things up. And it's like, because mm -hmm. we have to charge more and then they don't want to pay more. It's just this thing. But, but if, if, you, if, if you, but you they charge more, more, you can probably give they, them a you discount. You would make more money. Yeah, of course. There's yeah. a lot of different like aspects to it. But it's like, there's this thing where it's like, it's really like starting to change. Like boards are going to have to go up yeah. no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Like the well, uh, all the manufacturers are like, we have to charge more. Well, here's, yeah. the, here's the thing too. But yeah. I think the problem it is, is like there's so many like local brands that like skate shop yeah. is going to buy local. They do. Yeah. Stuff like that. The thing I was most skeptical about was the vacuum sealing process. You're not using a giant metal hydraulic press to smash all the plies together. You're just putting it in a vacuum bag. Holy shit, it's fucking Chris Roberts. Do a kickflip! You just flipped me off. <laughs> you can design and build skateboards as part of a school program. If those two things aren't an option, like if coming to San Diego or getting this in your school isn't an option, then you can go online onto the Open Source Boards website, which is opensourceboards.com, and design your own board there, or at least just send us an email letting us know what you want. We'll work with you to create your shape. I think there's loads of similarities between playing the drums and skateboarding. It can be equally like frustrating, but equally rewarding at the same time. When I'm recording a track, I'll get super specific about playing it the, like the drum score, like the beat, like perfect. And it's kind of similar if you really want to get that trick, like you, it's, it can be really frustrating trying to get it super on time. And then you just, your body's just not reacting the way that you want it to. And then you finally land it and you'll get that adrenaline or you finally lay down like the drum parts and it'll be what you wanted and it's kind of that relief but also this like kind of hype, I guess. I also like the, just the raw sound of skateboarding. It's just like the grinds, the rails, the landing. It's like a, it's an interesting sound. Like a, for most people it, it's, it is aggressive, it's like a, an audio, audio pollution, you know, it's like noise, it can disturb people, but um, I think uh, it's got dynamics and something uh, interesting about it. Hvor rullede 
skate you know who I'm moving Por mais que tenha um monte de explicação matemática, mas no final das contas é isso. Você não gosta da sensação quando o negócio entra no seu ouvido ali, como... Esse é asfalto. É só ruído, né? So from mosaic to fully flared, he changed the skating quite a bit, you know? went more into like the punk rock. I mean, I'm sure that's totally off, but like there's some sort of punk rock attitude going on in that part. A bit like less technical tricks. Manhattan as opposed to Flushing, you know? And for me at the time, growing up, young kid, in love with his mosaic part, I was bummed out on his fully flared part. Now looking back, I'm stoked on it. But for him, it must have been so interesting to go through those changes at that time. You know, I don't know if he was dealing with injuries, could have been true, but to see that development firsthand and to live through it is so much more exciting than it seems when you're just envisioning, oh, what am I going to do with the rest of my career? It's just another fucking double set, like a bigger one. So yeah, go going through all this, I don't know. It's a, I've become more responsible, but it's way more fun than I thought it would be. But then also, Also, there was money. And I looked at it and I said, I actually read this beautiful article by Ocean Howell that he wrote when he was still going to school. It's like a 20 page thing. Um, he's writing about the first X Games in 95 or so, when Costin did it and all these dudes and they were saying, they were being really vocal about how we're only doing it for the money. Fuck X Games, fuck these major corporations. They're not cool. This is not what skating is about. We're only doing it for the money. We're taking the check and leaving. But what they, what Ocean Howell points out is that they really fucked up there because that was the, the ticket that X Games was waiting for. They didn't have that opportunity before. Nobody, was, nobody had taken the money yet and they couldn't get into this industry that was so punk rock, so cool, so anarchist, so countercultural. And they knew it would make tons of money. They just couldn't get in and so Costin and those dudes, they blew it. No disrespect, I'm doing the same thing here, but now it's a different context. Now it's a different context and I, yeah, it's not like the number one thing that I'm hyped, like good coverage for me. It's not the best coverage, but it is just for me, I had, that's what I had to weigh. It wasn't that bad that I was doing it only for the money kind of, because there was also this personal struggle and I was like, can I, can I get out there and do some hard tricks? while these dudes are making me feel insecure about how fucked up the tricks they're doing are. It's super late and now I'm gonna have to get back to my cabin. I was just gonna wait till tomorrow and get it. I see it for the second time in one day. I'm mad. Your desire to make it should be like, like you know, min like minimal. It should be mellow, like subtle, rather than like, oh, I'm getting upset or gritting your teeth.